if you're in need of a healthy hump day pick-me-up, uh, Susie Lee's got <laughs> just the thing. It just all sounded ruder than it was meant to. Uh, <laughs> what, are you, what are you making today? Um, chicken. <laughs> OK, good. So I am making my char siu chicken. Yeah. So it is a Cantonese dish that people kind of know as char siu pork. Ah. Um, but the characteristic flavours are we're using some treacle, we're using honey, some uh, hoisin sauce, some oyster sauce, five spices. The and flavor. that's what gives it that gorgeous colouring on the outside. It's actually you look red at... colouring. So traditionally, ah. you would be using a fermented red bean tofu. It sounds a bit strange, but it's simply Chinese. It's from my cookbook, oh, and I, I want see. it to be accessible. So you're just using food coloring. Oh, and Did someone say cookbook? Quick, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> Spit the chilli out. There you go. <laughs> there it is. That's that beautiful Thank artwork you. on that book. So I'm just Lovely. adding all of these ingredients. You see, we've got some dark soy. We have mm. got some treacle, the brown sugar to give it some uh, nice sweetness. Mm -hmm. And it is pretty much the honey that gives it that real sweetness, but mm. also when you cook it, mm, it's, lovely. it gives it a caramelisation. Yeah. It's really nice. Some hoisin. It's really nice. And some oyster sauce. Mm. And then a little bit of five spice. So all we're doing here is mixing it all in a bowl, or else one I made earlier <laughs> in a food bag. So you can leave that in your fridge, you can tip it so all the marinade is sitting and allowing that to How long to can it sit in that marinade? Overnight. So oh, you right, can have okay. it prepped well in advance. Okay. Um, and I'm just mixing that all through and then adding that lovely red food colouring. But some people don't like colouring and that is absolutely fine and they don't think the redness is a bit so is it, strange. Does the colouring have a taste or is it just purely for colouring? It's purely for colouring. So you and don't need that? You don't need that for this recipe because there's enough, I've added enough of, of the, all the other, other bits and bobs to give it that the fermented red tofu flavour, you know, it's it's all of that combination uh -huh. that I've made it easy and accessible. And it's... This yeah. is, um, like, kids love sort of noodle, chicken noodle soupy things, oh, don't they? Absolutely. And I always think it's so good because you can hide so much stuff in them. Just looking at the colours yeah. here, it's like the rainbow. Yeah, There's so you're eating all the sorts rainbow. of veggies. And... Yeah, you can pack in your five a day. So from there, I'm literally mm. putting them onto a tray yeah. and into the grill five minutes until they're cooked on both sides, um, and then we're, we're ready to go and assemble our noodle bowl. Oh, that's we've, very uh, we've simple. Already, we've, we've given Graham his lunch. I'm so happy. Yeah. Isn't that lovely? <laughs> so Do happy. you like it? It's delicious. Yay. Thank you so much. <laughs> it is good. I'm looking forward to seeing how you're going to eat the soup with the, with the chopsticks <laughs> yeah, you've given you. That'll be a challenge. Do they, do they <laughs> double up the so straws? Be covered in it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's them as one I made earlier. They're all yep. grilled and yep. ready to go. So you'll see the lovely charred kind of bits and that, that is the characteristic of the, the sugars and the honeys all kind of just burning a little bit of crispy kind of like coating. Delish. And it's quicker, it's healthier, it's chicken, do you know? But any leftover marinade, you'll see, this has been marinated overnight. Yeah. I actually use this instead of soy sauce for my fried rice, I use this as my soy to give that as a really lovely flavour to your fried rice instead. Because oh. you use obviously soy sauce to make yeah. fried rice. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. use that marinade instead, fry it off with it and then it is... So you fry it off with it. You're just going to say, because that's had raw chicken in it. So Absolutely. It be... So you fry it off yeah. and then you, that's your flavouring. Oh, well, the it's flame, so yeah. delicious. Mm. So in here, I've made a really simple stock. So use a stock cube or a stock pot. I've used a chicken one, but you can use veggie and flavourings. Whatever you have, but yep. I love a bit of chilli. That's the heat that you're getting there. Then some sesame oil, some garlic granules. You could use fresh garlic if you have it. Yeah. Um, onion uh, granules as well. Yet again, if you have fresh stuff, spring onions, some white pepper to give it slightly more heat and a pinch of salt. Um, and, some and is that soy. all that stock is? Yeah, so you're just adding flavours. God, it I feels like you've been, I would have thought you'd have been boiling a carcass of a chicken no. and spending ages. I mean, so, that is so... I mean, I know there's a lot there, but once you've got those in your cupboard, then you're away, you just aren't sit you? just taste, because some people don't like it too garlic, yeah. some people don't like it too spicy, uh, some people don't even like sesame, but all of that, you just sit and taste, because your family might be different. Yeah, yeah. So I would sit and taste have the stock made oh, up I'm and just very go happy and, here. and add each bit to it. <laughs> I'm just beginning to get the feeling back in my tongue. Oh, oh yeah. can you taste it hope, now? I hope you now. like oh, it. Phil. So I'm just going to assemble this. I'm going to not splatter you okay. and move this over here. So I um, followed the instructions of a packet of ramen noodles. Um, yeah. Maybe a minute less than what it says because it's going to keep cooking with this lovely broth that you've got there. I mean, that on its own is just lovely. Yeah. Can and you use any warm. sort of noodles? My kid like those, those, the udon noodles, the thick ones, Absolutely. which I'm not a massive fan of. 
No, but, but that's they the seem thing. To love them. You can use udon noodles, um, you can use egg noodles, mm -hmm. anything like that. So I'm just going to assemble this now. So we're going to have some, some grated carrot. Just raw? Raw. You can have them cooked if you want to. But for me, it's kind of like I love a bit of crunch. Yeah. You know, and I sort of think if you can <clears> eat the rainbow, add it. And also, this is quite a good way. You know, when you sort of get to the end of the week and you've got lots of stuff in the yeah. bottom of the fridge and you're thinking, oh, that's almost almost done. I better use up all that veg. You can just plonk anything plonk in. Plonk anything on. Some lovely adamame beans or you can use peas, sweet corn. Like, obviously, my kids are young still, so I do. I use peas yeah. and I use sweet corn and it just is so simple then. And then I'm going to add in Add the chicken, chicken in afterwards. And I guess, like, this... the. Broth and the noodles, you could do anything with this. I mean, you could do a prawns, you could do anything. I mean, this is sort of a, a yeah, vehicle and for exactly. all sorts of Exactly, and so, like, with this, it is a chicken version, but you can use the pork if you have more time. Mm -hmm. um, I, I just love that it is quite versatile, and both of these um, recipes are in my new cookbook, which you have, so... <laughs> as I keep mentioning it. <laughs> Thank you. There you go. Um, but just very simple, just very... Well, I think it looks pleasing yeah. on the it eye. Tastes, it, it tastes absolutely gorgeous. Thank you. Absolutely Thank you gorgeous. very, very much. Delicious. That proper full-on meal. Really lovely. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, Thank stunning. you. Thank you. For details of today's recipe and more delicious ideas from our chefs, download the free This Morning app.